With such a low percentage of beryllium in the final ore, a process had to be engineered to economically concentrate the beryllium for final processing. The properties that make beryllium useful also make it difficult to extract. In the early 1960s, chemical engineers at Brush Wellman's plant in Elmore, Ohio, including Robert Maddox, Howard Gimperlein, Jack Valaquet, and Richard Shank, successfully developed a solvent extraction process. The go-ahead was given to build the Utah processing plant. A site was selected near the Union Pacific Railroad tracks and the Sevier River north of Delta and south of Lindell in west central Utah. They had a groundbreaking ceremony at the mine and at the mill here in April of 1968. The plant was completed in 1969 and began processing ore that had already been mined and stockpiled. Brush Wellman was awarded the prestigious J.C. Valor Award for Chemical Engineering in 1970 for the implementation of this process. The solvent extraction process removes the beryllium by first crushing and wet grinding the ore in a ball mill, then leaching it with sulfuric acid and steam in rotating tanks at 95 degrees Celsius to dissolve the beryllium. Thickening agents are added which help to settle the sludge in a series of flotation tanks while leaving the beryllium sulfate in solution. The sludge is stirred by counter-current decantation and pumped from tank to tank as the dissolved beryllium sulfate is washed over the side to continue the process. The remaining sludge is finally discarded to a tailings pile. The beryllium is then separated from the sulfate using an organic compound, then stripped from the organic by ammonium carbonate. Impurities of iron and aluminum are removed through steam hydrolysis, which leaves the beryllium in the form of beryllium hydroxide, which is then vacuum drum filtered. Since beryllium dust is toxic, this entire process must be done in a sealed system, including the final packaging of the beryllium hydroxide into blue drums for shipment. There are a lot of impurities in the berkundite ore. If you take the periodic table, we got most of them. Some that gave them problems early on was the high sodium content, the high uranium content, and the zirconium. The leftover filtrate still has appreciable quantities of uranium, so it's pumped into evaporation ponds and then later shipped elsewhere for final uranium processing. In 1978, an addition was built on the plant to allow the processing of barrel ore, making the Delta plant the only facility in the United States that processes either form of beryllium ore. To recover beryllium from barrel crystals, the crystals must first be destroyed since the beryllium is tightly bound in the barrel crystal lattice. The barrel is melted at 1700 degrees Celsius in an autoclave furnace, then quenched rapidly in water to break the crystal lattice and turn the beryllium particles into a frit. The frit is heat treated at 1000 degrees Celsius in a rotary kiln. It's then ground up in a ball mill and leached with steam and sulfuric acid at 325 degrees Celsius in a rotating drum to dissolve the beryllium. This solution is added to the Bertrandite solution in the flotation tanks to continue the process. In 1980, additional flotation tanks were added to accommodate the barrel solution. All of these processes require careful control and monitoring to improve yields and ensure safety. Using a continuous improvement process, the Delta plant has added computer automation controls and improved laboratory analysis. Now what we have here is an antimony 123 radiation source giving off gamma rays that is then passing through the beryllium sample which produces free neutrons which are then detected and from that they can determine how much beryllium is in the sample. New flocculant agents and organic solvents have improved the extraction yields and the plant now processes ore at about a 99 percent efficiency level. Around 400 tons of bertrandite and about 10 tons of barrel ore can be processed per day at the Delta plant. The concentrated beryllium hydroxide produced at the Delta processing plant is shipped by rail to Elmore, Ohio, where it undergoes the final refining process. The beryllium hydroxide is reacted with fluorine to produce beryllium fluoride. It's then reacted with magnesium metal in a single replacement reaction. Since magnesium is more reactive, it will pull the fluorine away from the beryllium and reduce the beryllium to a metal. This beryllium is cast into ingots and further processed into various forms of pure beryllium metal, from rods to foils. 
It's alloyed with copper, nickel, aluminum, and other metals. It's also reacted with oxygen to form beryllia ceramics. The main health hazard associated with beryllium production is beryliosis, also called chronic beryllium disease, or CBD. Beryllium particles in the body are recognized as an irritant, and the immune system tries to surround the particles with white blood cells, forming granulomas, or small granules in the lungs. Most people who become sensitized to beryllium do not develop clinical symptoms. In some people, however, the immune system overreacts, and the granulomas can build up to where they interfere with lung functioning and mimic the symptoms of pneumonia and other chronic respiratory diseases. Chronic beryllium disease occurs when workers are exposed to beryllium in particle form in concentrations of over 2 micrograms per cubic meter of air. Beryllium in its original mineral forms is tightly bound to the crystal lattice and therefore harmless. Finished beryllium metal alloys and ceramics are also safe. But concentrating beryllium from its ores means crushing and breaking the beryllium crystal and liberating beryllium as fine particulate matter. Machining or milling beryllium or its alloys can also be dangerous and special precautions must be taken. To prevent chronic beryllium disease, Brush Resources uses careful ventilation and sealed systems to prevent beryllium dust from escaping. Particulates are kept under 0.2 micrograms per cubic meter, and workers wear respiratory equipment in any area where even this level of dust might occur to prevent sensitization to beryllium. Beryllium may be rare and expensive to mine and refine, but when you need a metal that is extremely tough, light, thermally stable and resistant to corrosion, transparent to x-rays or reflective of neutrons, then only beryllium will do. From common applications in your car and home electronics, to its use in spacecraft, missiles and jet fighters, to its use in nuclear reactors and x-ray machines, beryllium is indispensable and valuable. Its story, from how it formed in the Spore Mountains, to how it's mined and refined, is fascinating. The ingenuity of the chemical engineering team at Brush Wellman in developing the solvent extraction process illustrates just how important chemical engineers are to the continued economic prosperity of our country. By continuously improving their processes and safety procedures, Brush Resources Spore Mountain Mine and Delta Processing Plant continue to be outstanding examples of how the elements are unearthed.